Hi everybody, welcome to Easy Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see how to display the elements in the singly linked list in a reverse order. So we are going to display the uh, nodes of the singly linked list in the reverse order. We are having two methods. So the first one is using iteration and the second one is using recursion. So both the methods will be seen in this video. So first reversing the linked list using loops or iterative method. Let us see how manually we do and then we will uh, convert that manual things into code as usual. So first uh, this is the linked list. I have only one information of the linked list that is head information. So what I will be doing, I will be having an index finger and I will be uh, starting here. Then uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is this is a singly linked list. So you are able to traverse only in this forward direction and not in the reverse direction. Once if you are reaching here, you can move only forward. You cannot move backward. Suppose I am in the, this node. That is 5014. I want to move to the next node means the next node's address is here 5062. From here to here I can make a move. But I will not be able to move backward because I don't have any information of this 5021. I don't have any link here because this is a singly linked list. So for reversing the, I mean for uh, displaying the numbers or information in the reverse order, we need one extra component that is stack or array. So here I am using array. So what I am going to do is I am going to move this pointer till the end. So whenever I am moving I am going to write all the information. First what I am going to do is I am going to write all the information then I am going to display it in the reverse order. So I am writing all the information to this array. So first what I will be doing I will have an array and I will have an index to that array which is initialized to 0. So first I am uh, making P2 point to the head. So I am writing the information in the array of C. So uh, the C is pointing to 0. Now I am moving this, uh, incrementing this C. So 0 to 1 it will be incremented and I am moving this pointer P to the next node. So P is equal to P of next if I am putting it will be moving to the next node. Now I am going to write the information part in this array. Then I am incrementing, so I am doing three things. I am writing the information part, then I am moving the uh, C, then I am moving the pointer P. I am writing the information, I am incrementing the C, I am moving the pointer P. These three things again and again I am doing. So how long I am going to do this? Till I reach null. So this task is over. So let us see. So now this array has been filled. Now to print just I will be decrementing the pointer C or index C. I will print. Then I will decrement. I will print. I will decrement. I will print. Till I reach uh, 0 I will uh, decrement and print. So once I reach that I will stop. So let us see the coding part. So initially I want a array, then I want an index C and I want a pointer P. So int array of 10, you can have as per your size as per your requirement. Then uh, index C, I have initialized it to 0. So index C, then a pointer P. So I am initializing the pointer to the head. Clear? Now again and I am again I am doing three task visa. What I am doing? I am writing the information in the array, I am incrementing the array index, I am incrementing the point of P to the next node. These three tasks I am doing again and again. How long I am doing? Till I reach the uh, null. So if, if I am not reaching null, I have to do the task. If I am reaching null, I have to stop. So if a condition is based, uh, if a iteration is based on a condition, I will be, I can use preferably while loop. So what is the condition while well, P is not equal to null. What are the three tasks I am doing? I am writing the information part of the P to the array of C. So AR of C is equal to P arrow info. If I am doing that the information part will be written. The next what I am doing? I am incrementing the index C. So C plus plus. Then I am moving P to the next node. So to do this what I have to do? P is equal to P of next. So if I am doing so P will move to the next node. Again and again if I am doing uh, all the nodes will be 
reaching the array like this. So now P is uh, pointing to null, C is pointing to number 4. Now, I have written all the things. If I want to display, my uh, task is to display all these things in the reverse order. So what I have to do, I have to decrement from top to bottom. I have to uh, move the index and I have to print each time. So I am moving the index. So C minus minus if I am doing, index will be moved to from 4 through 3. Now I will be printing 30. Then I will be moving the index again. Then 5 will be printed. So what is the code I have to write? C minus minus. Print of A or of C. So if I am uh, writing these two codes, this task will be completed. Since I am doing again and again, I am using a loop. When I am stopping, when uh, A or, uh, when C is greater than 0, I can do this work. When C equals to 0, I have to stop. So while C is greater than 0, C minus minus print of A or of C. This is over. So this is how you have to uh, use iterative method to reverse your linked list. Now I am going to uh, display the linked list in reverse order using recursive function. So uh, one request to everyone, I have already posted a video on recursive function. Uh, in the first uh, video, I think 1.6 or 1.7, I don't remember. So in the recursive, uh, please watch the recursion video and then come back to this. If you are not clear with recursive concept, you will not be able to follow this. Uh, in that video, I will be explaining the concepts of recursion along with the visualized example. So that will be very clear. Watch that and come back to this. Then only this will be easy for you. So as we saw, recursion will be using an internal stack. So you need not have any array. Internally, stack will be used. Already we know what is stack. Stack means live for last and first of Last inserted uh, thing will be uh, output at first. So what is our task? We are going to input all the memory location. So in the stack what will be stored? Uh, activation record will be stored. So if you are just moving calling, uh, if you are just calling this recursive function with the help of uh, the memory address, automatically all the memory address uh, will be stored in the activation record of the stack. So just you can call it and you can move to the next node. You can call, you can move to the next node. If you are doing so, all the addresses will be stored. So if you want to write a recursive function, what you have to do? You have to write a base case and a uh, progressive case. So manually what I am going to do is, I am going to point, uh, I am going to have a pointer temp. So what I will be doing is, first I will just visit here. Start with temp of head. I am going to call the recursive function with this address. So if I am calling itself, the address, the local variables, or what are all necessary, all those will be stored in the activation record. So I am just making a call to the temps next. So temps next is 5021. So from here, again I am calling to temps next. So again and again, I am going to call temp next. So when if I am calling again and again, the stack will be moved. And this address will be stored. Now again I am calling temps next. So if I am calling temps next, here this will be stored. So how long I should do this? I need to stop at one point. Those it is a recursion, I have to stop at one point. What is that one point? When I reach null. So if I reach null, I am going to get back. I am going to return. So in recursive function, you will be writing two things. Base case and a progressive case. In the base case, you will be writing where I have to stop the recursion and what I have to return with. The. So here, what task we are going to do? We are going to just display. Since we have the address information, we need not uh, do any task. J directly we can call the printf statement. So I am just going to return. So how my base case will be looking. So this is my recursive function, void reverse rec, reverse using recursion. That is why I named reverse rec. Struct node start temp. So if I am doing so, I have to uh, write base case and progressive case. Uh, base case is the place where my uh, recursion stops. So when it stops, if temp is equal to equal to null, I am just returning. 
if you are just uh, putting return without any uh, value automatically the stack will uh, come back here to the topmost uh, value so in the else part you have to write the progressive case so in the progressive case two things you have to write the first one is recursion call you have made and second one is the task which you want to execute so what recursion call i am making so we saw here right every time i am calling with the address of i am calling this function with the address of temp of next so i am calling with temp of next that is the call so reverse rec of temp of next if you are doing so the progressive function will be progressing till here so now while returning what task you have to do like that you have to give here what task i am going to do i am going to just print the information of this so print of temp arrow info if you are putting now here the temp value is 5062 here only the stack is pointing so temp arrow is 52 means in um, uh, 5062 what is that 30 is there that will be printed so print temp arrow info since this is a recursion call automatically the stack will be deducing or moving to the previous thing till you reach the end of the stack so that is the use of stack this happens internally now the arrow mark will be moving to the previous call so in previous call where we have called 5014 it will come and stand here so with temp having 5014 what you are going to do you are going to print the information part so 5 will be printed so initially 30 was printed now 5 will be printed now the loop is over so again it will come back to the stack so in the task here this is over so it will move to the previous part so in previous part we are what you are having 5021 so 5021 will be returning to the place where call was made so to this place 5021 will be returned so after this what line is that that will be executed because you are returning in the reverse direction so what is written here print of temp arrow info so temp is holding the value 5021 so 5021's information part 40 will be printed then the loop is over so again it will come to the stack so it will move here so 5001 is the 5001 will be written here print of temp of uh, info so 5001 information part 10 will be printed then again it will move down the stack is empty now or you have reached out of the stack that is uh, the top pointer is made to zero so if it is reached the recursive call will be over so this is how Uh, you have to write the display function to make the initial call in the main function uh, where you are starting with you are starting with head so reverse rec of head if you are giving that this recursive call will be started or initiated this is how you have to write the uh, code for displaying the linked list in the reverse order using recursive function uh, hope you understood both the concepts whichever is easy you can follow that uh, Uh, recursion if you are uh, clear with the basics and if you are having some uh, written uh, practice you need not write many recursive code so how it is working like that what you are visually seeing in the video you write it by yourself and explain to you then only recursion will be clear uh, because uh, in uh, future lecture series like trees graph traversal will be uh, using recursion so be clear with that in the uh, if you like this video share this with your juniors and friends stay tuned to easy tutorials like and subscribe to easy tutorials thanks for watching